everyone, welcome back to Beyond Rote. I'm going to continue on with Very Early by Bill Evans for the next few bars. And I just want to apologize for the bad audio on the last video. So I'm going to recap just quickly those few bars here before I move on to those. And just to recap, those bars were uh, these we had. First, the melody being in the key of C major, even though it has some interesting notes. Just to recap, those notes are... We had those notes, and I talk about how even though we have these strange notes in the scale, it's still really the key of C major. That's the first one. The next point is the uh, cadence. We go from here to here, and I talk about some of the internal notes. And then the last thing I talk about is a circle of fifths. How we should be able to hear that bass line, bass line, fifth to the circle of fifths, and then continuing on that circle of fifths. Okay, so if you remember those key points, it's pretty. Very easy to see this, to hear this music, even though it sounds very sophisticated and there's a lot of interesting harmonies. So now if we move on from here, we go here, so the next part, interesting sound. C. This is why I like this piece so much. We go from the beautiful C major sound. Oh, by the way, I also talk about the regular chords versus the altered chords. They add a lot of flavor to the music. It helps you. Knowing that helps you remember. We go from here to here. We go a, we go a whole half step up. It's pretty much as far as you can go away. Usually people modulate from C modulated to G pretty easy and then we can go back to C but this this guy decides to go from C and somehow he has to modulate to D and you know that's actually exactly how he does it he starts in C and the chord right before that D D flat major seventh chord is a uh, A flat so if you notice that that's your cadence we're going to be going to. So we start here, and we're going to be going to think about your C going up. famous song is Hallelujah, I think, what is it? Um, something like that. That's one to six. So Bill Evans is doing something fairly logical here when he goes from C to A flat. to where we started.
likes this B flat chord, this note. It's really not part of the major scale, but this is this is the framework you want in your mind. This one, two, stepwise down. It doesn't really feel like it's doing anything. That's why it's easy to move there in your mind. Okay, so we start from the top, we have our one, circle of fifths. And then we go to our A flat. So now we just have to figure out what this other stuff is in the middle. We started here on our G, and in this second, uh, this second half of the phrase, we decide to start on A. We've just gone up one, kind of like waking up in the very early morning after the song. Okay, so then we, instead of going down. of this phrase is a little bit different because we're not going just down the way the first one is. This one is a little more, oh, uh, what exactly are we going to do? You have to kind of tell a story in the melody. The melody's like um, a dance or a or a, a film. Have a narrative that is up to you to kind of imagine and make your own. And when you do that, the music then becomes part of you. So when I see that. pretty interesting note because we've been hearing a lot of B flats. Remember B flat, B flat, which brings us. But now we finally, and here, but we decide to play that is a very unique sound because we don't haven't heard those B naturals yet. Some kind of sequential motion here. 
Lots of things uh, going on in this piece. We've talked about harmony, we've talked about melody, we've talked about cadences, we've talked about stories with the melody. Um, I think that's a pretty special one for some of these melodies that are kind of strange. I, this is also one of my, the 
most, I think, interesting melody. So I wanted to say a little bit more about that. Maybe there'll be more to say about it later. Let's see if I can do one more kind of broad on it. Sounds a little bit less like a hymn and more like a, a jazz tune. <laughs> Let's see. actually an interesting slip because I ended up resolving back to C because I didn't remember the subtle change in the circle of fifths.